in this session we'll going to discuss about the replication so as the name suggests replication in the sense repetition of the same data into multiple locations so why we need replication we need replication to not to lose the data for example if entire data is at one location if the database crashes due to some hardware failures or some software failures or some external failures we may lose the data so in order to not to lose the data what we do we save the same data into multiple locations if you lose the data from one place we can get the same data from another location right so first we'll discuss about definition of the replication replication is a process of synchronizing the data across multiple servers replication provides redundancy and increase the data availability with multiple copies of data on different database servers for example college database is in which server our college server right our data is in which server server ssr server right now entire student details for example say one 10000 members are there students the 10000 details are here what i will do if the data if the data crashed here the data may be lost of 10000 students so what i do the same data i'll make a copy and i'll store the another system again i'll copy the same data and i'll store in other system i'll make same copy of data and i'll store in other system so due to this what happens the availability of the data is more that means if you are requesting this system if this system is busy so that what happens you can get the data from here you can get the data from here you can also get the data from here when when the original server is busy we can get the data from other servers also so by this what happens the data availability is more by doing multiple copies of the data on different database servers right replication protects a database from the loss of single server that only i said if the data is in single server if the server crashes the total data is interrupted that means the total data will be lost so replication also allows you to recover from the hardware failure or service interruption due to some problems you lost this data so how you get the data the data availability here the data availability here the data will also be available here that means if you lost the data from one location you can get the data from another location when it is possible if you do replication only replication is nothing but repetition right now why to do replication to keep your data safety and high availability of data disaster recovery no download sorry no downtime for maintenance that means backups if you want to do no need to do backups every time you make a copy of data and put it into another location make a copy put into another location if original copy crashes then get the data from another location read scaling and replica set is transferred into to other application so whatever the replication you are doing so this ssr data you are doing as a three replications so this replica set replica set replica set replica set is nothing but replication of the data that we call it as replicate replica set so replica set is transparent to the application so for example the meaning is what for example if i have a data of the student 101 so this 101 is also available here this 101 is also available here this 101 also available here that means whatever the data you have in your replica set that will be transparent that means clear cut to all replicas all replicas should have same data and we have two kinds of replications in the distributed model one is master slave replication the another one is peer to peer replication first we go with the master slave replication so in the master slave replication technique data replication creates a copy that copy is called as master of your database and maintains it as a key data store any updates that you may require are made to this master copy and later transferred to the slave copies moreover to maintain the fast performance all read requests are managed by slave copies as it is not 
be feasible to put all the burden on the master copy alone. In case a master copy fails, one of the slave copies is automatically as added in the new master. So first here, consider that this is my client, right? This client is performing reading and writing operation on this server. So where is the SSR data? SSR data is in this computer. So this system is going to perform an application. This, the data is here. So in this database, what I'm doing, I'm making the copy of this data. So what is this? This is the copy of the original database. So this original copy is called as master database. What the master database you have, that is copied to the slave database. That means what? This is the original copy. This is the duplicate copy. Master is nothing but original. Slave is nothing but duplicate. But when you have the replication process in the master, if any updates changes, for example, 101 rule number has changed as 1001. This is happening where this updation is happening in the master database. Same reflection will also done in the slave database also without external modification. And in the 101, 1001, master database and the original database. So replication just the most of the equated updates there in your update automatically slave database of Buddha. Oh, just say, and then upon a monthly slave look, a little update just now some an eddy later. And second point is what if you are performing both operation, right and read. So read and take the data on a redress. So with data and retrace this to me master database use this now same data now so the slave database use this now same database not a data and even I'm this good down and it's true about them when we did a call and put it so whenever you are performing read operation better to do reading from the slave why because to reduce the burden on the master so reading is nothing but passing a question to the database I want this details I want this details I want this student details so in, in order to take the student details, you have the data in master database as well as in the slave database. So if you get the data from the slave database to perform the read operation, so the burden from the master database will be reduced. But whereas the write operation, right, is nothing but insertion or updation. But insertion or updation to be done to which database? To the original database so that that reflection that insertions, that changes, that updations will also automatically save in the slave database. So in the master slave replication, master database is the original database. The duplicate copy of the master database is called as slave database. This process is known as replication. In this two operations, write and read operations are there. So if you want to perform write operation, better to go with the master database. If you want to perform read operation better to go with the slave database clear so this we call it as master slave replication here i have an example first i have four values in this database right now all updates are made to the master if i want to do some updates to this database right i want to do some updates to the database so where you have to do you have to do in the master itself right but you are not supposed to do in the slip to this master i'm creating two slips this is one slip this is one slip so as the master is there in the same manner slaves also there if you want to perform read operations take slaves if you want to perform write operation take the data from masters right next year so advantages and some disadvantages also there with the master slave application the first one Master slave approach is extremely fast. It does not operate on any performance or storage restrictions. It will work very fast. You can use master slave no SQL data replication technique to split the data, read and write request and allocate them to different servers. So this will further improve your data processing speed. As we discussed it now, master also have data, slave also have data. So if you want to perform read operation, you can get the data from slave as also you get the data from master. But which is better? You get the data from slave is better compared to master. Why? Because the burden will be reduced from the replication process. 
Next, some drawbacks also you have with the master slave uh, replication. What is that? This technique lacks reliability as it operates asynchronously. This implies that in cases the master copy fails, certain committed transaction will go missing and no slave copy will contain that information. So that means what? Master is nothing but original. Slave is nothing but duplicate. This process is called as replication. Now, in this master database, you are doing some problems. You are doing some transactions. After having four transactions, for example, there will be a power loss. What will happen? This transaction is not performed totally. So, this reflection, these changes will not occur in the database of replicated database. So, slave database. What will happen? The changes whichever you did here, this changes will not occur in the slave database. So if the system crashes this master database, if you are getting slave database into the same location, but what happens, whatever the last transactions you did, that will not affect it here. So your database may inconsistent. Previous ga tarvata same database lay the but it is inconsistent ga undi ani So the master slave technique does not support high scaling of write request. If you wish to scale such requests, you will require additional computational capacity on the master node. That means if you have only write operations on master, read operations on slaves, it what it leads? It leads high scaling. That means all are performing here only. What will happen? Go on, improve the performance, go on, improve the performance, go on, improve the performance. One time the database may full. So that what happens, the data will not fit into the master database. So for that, we need additional storage capacity so that more computational capacity is required for the master database. So that are the drawbacks of the master slave replication. Next, we discuss peer-to-peer -peer replication. Peer-to-peer -peer is nothing but point-to-point, -to -point, right? Point-to-point -to -point database. So peer-to-peer -peer, no SQL replication works in the concept that every database copy is responsible to update its data. That means this is the original copy, right? This is the original copy. I'm creating a duplicate copy here. Here also I'm creating a duplicate copy here. That means this process is known as what? Replication. This process is known as replication. In this peer-to-peer -peer replication, whatever original data is automatically updated the peer to peer that means this data and this data also be replicated automatically no one has to come and update the replicated data sets evaru kuda replicated data set ni malli vachi modify cheyaru original modify ite automatically replicated data set kuda modify aipovali so database is responsible to update its data. This can only work when every copy contains an identical format of schema and stores the same type of data. Furthermore, data restoration is a key requirement of the data replication technique. That is, all replicas have equal weight. They can accept all writes. So as we have discussed read and write operation in the master slave, in master slave, Read operation will perform on slave. Write operation will perform on master. But in this P2P replication, all, all, that means all replicas, all duplicated have equal rights, equal weights. That means if you want to perform write operation, you can perform from this or you can also perform from this also. If you want to perform read operation, you can perform from here. You can perform from here. You can perform from here. So all replicas have equal weight that can all accept writes. The loss of any, any of them does not prevent access to the data store. Now what the operations you are doing in the first replica, the same operations you are performing here also, consider. This replica is having a problem. What will happen? You can get the same data from replica two also. So this is the advantage of peer-to-peer -peer network. Now here, this is a node A, this is a node B. This we call it as a load balancer. Here the actual data will be presented in the application server. 
So this application will serve server give the data to the load balancer. This load balancer divides the data into one replication set and one replication set. So node A replicated data will be in node B and node B replicated data will be in node A. So total load is done by the load balancer. Here, see here, this is a this is an original copy, and this is a duplicate copy. This is also duplicate copy. All nodes read and write operations can be performed here, and here also read and write operations can be performed on this also. How we are performing same operations here? The same operations can be performed in the replica sets also. Now some of the advantages of replication what are the advantages you have since the catalog requires stored access multiple nodes the performance of peer-to-peer -peer data replications remains constant if your data load increases that means what instead of having 10,000 student details at one place what you are doing the same 10,000 you are putting in here and you are putting here if i want to search for third record this third record will be available here, will be available here, will be available here. So that what happens, what the request you made, that will be executed very fastly because of the high availability of the data. So as the load increasing, for example, more 10 are added here, more 10 are added here, more 10 are added here also, there will be no problem. As the nodes are increasing, we are repeating many times, so the availability is more, so the performance is also more. If a node fails, the application layer can communicate that node's read request to the other adjacent nodes and maintain the lossless processing environment and data availability. So in one server, in one system, if some of the problem is occurring, what will happen? This will refer to the next replica set that can be solved here. If it is also having any problem, it discuss with the next replica set. So that the problem can be solved here. But because all replicas should have same data in a same format. The peer-to-peer -peer technique for the replication makes done, sorry, node maintenance easy as it allows you to take individual nodes offline for upgrading or maintenance without hampering of overall system performance. So if you want to improve any performance, whether it is online, whether it is offline, already you have data in multiple sets. If you improve the performance of one set, automatically the two, two other also sets the performance. Next, some of the drawbacks. What are the drawbacks? If you modified a particular row at more than one database node, it can cause a data loss by triggering a conflict latency in P2P replication. So here, if any application requires real-time data relocation, then you need to perform challenging task of load balancing dynamically across the different nodes. So first point is what? If you modify a particular row at more than one database. In replication, we have three databases. 10, 10, 10, three databases. Okay, database, okay, data model same with me. Inco database, load marali. Inco database, load marali. So, all okay, data and frequent ka modify jayste. That low na trigger ane di fire out on the that means that don't have conflict and any rise out on the other modification in the other modification and could much pay up to the data and the proper ground the alone of the problem data inconsistency lag out to the important in the relocation chairs which in the company so are the cost out to the practice are relocation jayana moving for in coca database create jayana on the cost it both to the so replication will do costly and we are combining, next topic is combining sharding and replication. Sharding is nothing but dividing the data into multiple copies. So this data is divided into, this 10 is divided into 5, like 2, like 3. Whereas replication is nothing but this 10 is divided into 10, 10, 10. That means shade sharding is different and replication is different but we can combine the sharding and replication also so this means that have multiple masters but each data item has only single master for example here consider <coughs> this is master of two shards master of two shards 
now master is different slave is different if you use master slave replication and sharding master slave replication means what there will be one master there will be one slave that the same value is repeating that we called as replication again replication you should divide that so this is the original master i am making a duplicate copy of this after this duplicate copy what i am doing i am creating a slave so this is master say consider this is master consider master for one shard and slave for one shard slave for two shards slave for two shards master for one shard slave for one shard okay so how many number of products are there that means how many slaves and replications are there there may be many number of masters but each database should have only single master replication means what repetition of data original ga em untundi okate untundi then duplicate copies manaki ekku ga untai a original em anta master anta so sub topics i mean uh, copies chesina vaati em anta replications anta so oka master e untundi multiple copies ga undadu okate multiple masters untundi but each data item has only single master now peer to peer peer to and peer to peer ante endi master slave lo different ga untundi implementation peer to peer lo different ga untundi oka master ki oka slave e untadi but peer to peer lo same data multiple copies lo untadi so multiple copies lo unnapudu em avutundi replication with sharding sharding ante breaking right sharding ante breaking ipudu idi master node ankonda okay na idi original data దీని పీర్ టు పీర్ ఇక్కడ ఇంకోటి ఉంది అనుకుందాం ఈ దీన్ని దీన్ని మ్యాచ్ అయిపోయింది ఇది ఒకటి మాస్టర్ సో దీని ఏం చేస్తున్నాను తర్వాత నేను బ్రేక్ చేస్తున్నాను బ్రేక్ చేస్తే ఎలా అయింది ఈ టేబుల్ లాగా అయ్యింది ఓకే సో మా షార్డింగ్ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ బ్రేకింగ్ ద డేటా రెప్లికేషన్ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ రిపిటేషన్ ఆఫ్ డేటా సో ఎ గుడ్ స్టార్టింగ్ పాయింట్ ఫర్ ద పీర్ టు పీర్ రిప్లికేషన్ ఈజ్ టు హ్యావ్ ఎ రెప్లికేషన్ ఫ్యాక్టర్ ఆఫ్ త్రీ సో ఈచ్ షార్డ్ ఈజ్ ప్రెసెంట్ ఆన్ త్రీ నోట్స్ సో ఒక్క షార్డ్ ఎలా ఉండాలి త్రీ నోట్స్ లాగా డివైడ్ అవ్వాలి అంటే ఏంటి ఇది ఒక ఒరిజినల్ డేటాబేస్ అనుకోండి దీన్ని నేను త్రీ పార్ట్స్ లాగా చేశాను ఈ త్రీ పార్ట్స్ లాగా చేసి ఈ త్రీ పార్ట్స్ ని పీర్ టు పీర్ అంటే దీని ఇంకో కాపీ దీని ఇంకో కాపీ దీని ఇంకో కాపీ క్రియేట్ చేయడాన్ని ఇదేమో షార్డింగ్ ఈ ప్రాసెస్ షార్డింగ్ ఈ ప్రాసెస్ షార్డింగ్ అయిన తర్వాత ఇక్కడ నుంచి ఇక్కడికి ఏంటి మాస్టర్ స్లేవ్ రిప్లికేషన్ పీర్ టు పీర్ రిప్లికేషన్ అవ్వాలి So, master slave replication in the one discuss this and if it is discuss this to me peer to peer replication. Are the main now? 